Have you ever wanted to memorize the chords of a worship song or transpose the key of music on the fly without having to print out new charts? Well, in this video, you're gonna learn about the chord wheel, which is a cheap but powerful tool for equipping any worship leader or band member with the essentials of music theory. brought to you by Worship Leader School, where you're gonna find the essential training, advice, and support you need to plan and lead worship as well as grow as a worship leader. Click the link in the description to learn more. My name is Jake Gosden. I'm the creator of churchfront.com, an online resource for innovative and creative church leaders. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church. And be sure to check out the show notes below this video for some free tools and resources for your worship ministry, including a link link to the chord wheel, which is the topic of today's video. So now let's talk about this guy first for just a review of the product itself. So the chord wheel is a very thin book with a very special cover on that book. So on the cover of this book, you have printed all of these different chords and there's different colors and you have a bunch of other symbols going on here, which we'll talk about later. And then on top of this book cover is this translucent plastic wheel that you can spin around like this. And as you spin it around, you're gonna notice that there's this triangular diagram right here that highlights certain chords within the wheel. And then inside the book, you're gonna find instructions on how you can use the wheel and there's a lots of great tips and advice here on the topic of music theory. This book only consists of about 12 pages, very short book, but you're not really paying for the book, you're paying for the wheel. So now I wanna cover how you can utilize this chord wheel in your worship ministry. The way they have laid out the structure of this wheel is by using the circle of fifths. So when you're looking at the wheel and you go around this inner circle, this is called the circle of fifths in music theory. You don't really have to know the details of the circle of fifths, but real briefly, Basically, the circle consists of going up to the fifth. So from C to G is a fifth, G to D is a fifth, D to A is a fifth, and so on. It goes all the way around the circle until it gets back to C. Music theory is cool like that. That's why you should learn it. The first way you could utilize this tool in your worship ministry is it can help you quickly memorize the chord progressions of different worship songs. And of course, worship music tends to be pretty simple, and it's usually in keys that don't contain lots of sharps and flats. So you could almost make this like the chord half moon and cut this thing in half because as worship musicians, you know, we don't like to go into any of these complicated areas of the wheel with all these flats and sharps and all those scary looking chords. Let's stay up here on the orange, yellow, and green tealish side of the wheel. So watch what happens here as I navigate to the key of a song. Let's pretend the song's in the key of G. I'm gonna put the arrow on G here. It's gonna tell me what chords are in that key. I have G, which is the one chord, and it even puts the numbers underneath the chord too, so you can start memorizing the Nashville number system. And then it has uh, C and D. These are our dominant. D's the five, the dominant, and C's the four, the subdominant chord. Don't worry if you don't know what those words mean. I'm just trying to sound like a smart uh, music music theoretician, if that's even a word. And then you have the minor two, the minor three, the minor four chords, A minor, B minor, and E minor. Then we have the F sharp diminished seven chord. And don't worry, as worship leaders, we never play diminished seven chords because those are from Satan. So I think the first major way that this tool is gonna help us as worship leaders is it can help wean us away from our chord charts. It's a really good idea that we start memorizing the different chords that would be within a worship song and also the different chord progressions in those songs. So instead of using a typical chord chart, challenge yourself to start developing your ear, but use the chord wheel as your guide to tell you what the possible chords are gonna be in that song. And in reality, you only have six options. Another way this tool can come in handy for your worship ministry is when you want to chart a new song for your band members. And maybe you're super cheap and you don't wanna spend $2.50 on a great chart from like praisecharts.com, or you just wanna challenge yourself to hear the chord changes in a song and create your own chart within Planning Center. All you have to do is know the key of the song that you're listening to, and then navigate to the proper key on your chord chart, and now you know the six to seven potential chords that are gonna be 
in that song. So that could be just a great tool to have on your desk as you're listening to a song, trying to chart it out, you're listening to those chord changes, maybe you have your guitar on you too, you're trying to play along to make sure you're picking the right chords. And again, this chord wheel can remove a lot of the guessing out of it. Another way to utilize this chord wheel is for quickly transposing songs on the fly. A lot of worship songs are recorded in keys that are too high for your average Joe to sing, so maybe a song that's recorded in the key of A, you want to bump it down to the key of G. Well, voila, you can go from A to G and you can quickly know what chords are going to be in that song that you're playing. Another way this chord wheel can come in handy is when you're planning out your worship set and you're wanting to be aware of how different song keys relate to one another because that has a big effect on how easily and smoothly you can transition from song to song. Obviously, if song A and song B are on the same key, that's going to be a pretty smooth and seamless transition. You can just drone out the pad in the same key in between them. But maybe songs can't be in the same key, but you want to see if you can figure out how to get them in a closely related key that's going to make that song transition sound smoother. Here's what this looks like with the chord wheel. If I'm playing in the key of G, I know that some closely related keys are going to be the key of D or the key of C. And these keys are closely related because they contain a lot of the same chords. You'll notice that in the key of D, you have G and E in here, and then D, of course, and then the key of G, you also have G, E, and D. So a lot of these chords overlap. So when you're on the chord wheel, you can easily visually tell what keys are related to a particular key. And that'll hopefully inform the way you pick different song keys throughout your worship set. And just to kind of give you an idea of how this actually happens in real life. Let's say we are in the key of C and then we get to the end of the song. Well, it's going to be a pretty smooth transition if we want to go to the key of G because then that C, if we just held it out, becomes the four and then we can just land on the one of the next key. And there's a bunch of different fancy ways you can, you know, transition songs and modulate to a related key, but that's a very basic way of doing it. One of my absolute favorite features about this chord wheel is that it includes the chord numbers, which is is going to be really handy for you and your band to learn the Nashville number system. So maybe you're wanting to transition your team from the traditional chord charting system that uses letters to the Nashville number system. And that's going to allow your team to be able to transpose songs on the fly. You just got to tell them what key they're in and then they'll know what the one chord, what the four chord, five chord, six chord, etc. is going to be. And you'll see here on the chart, we have all of those numbers associated with the different chords. So so maybe you're giving your team members some chord charts that look like this instead of this, but you have some team members who are struggling with remembering, you know, what chord is what number in what key. So I recommend providing your team maybe with a couple copies of this chord wheel so that when you give them the Nashville numbers chart, they can use the chord wheel to navigate to the right key and then they'll automatically know what numbers are associated with the right chords they'll be playing on their instrument. And when your band does learn the Nashville number system and they get used to associating the numbers with different chords and different keys, it's going to be easy for you to direct them on the fly as you lead. Maybe you can just give them a subtle uh, number symbol by holding up your hand or down your hand, however you want to do that by saying, hey, one chord, four chord, five chord. They know what key they're in, so when you give them those numbers like one, four, five, six. I don't know how you would give them six with one hand. Maybe there's a special way to do that. I don't really do that much. But they'll know what chords to play because they know what chords to associate those numbers with. So you can direct them on the fly during those more spontaneous moments in worship. The chord wheel can also be helpful if you're trying to write your own original worship songs. And especially if you're newer to music theory and understanding what chords are in which keys, this chord wheel will provide you with a great template. So you could be jamming along in the key of C and you'll know what chords go in that key or maybe you're in the key of E, and as you're writing a song, experimenting with different progressions, uh, you'll know which chords you have to work with, and you won't be fumbling through chords that don't actually fit in the key. As worship leaders and worship band members, it's really important for us to have a basic grasp on how keys work in music and how chord progression works. So much of the worship music we play today is based on these principles and concepts, and a lot of the headaches we face with our worship bands, like not memorizing 
memorizing chord progressions or not knowing how to transpose to different keys on the fly, those can be solved with a great tool like this. In the end, I wanna encourage you and let you know that it takes time and practice and repetition. You're not gonna be able to magically memorize chord charts overnight using a tool like this, but always have this out maybe next to your worship chord charts so you can always understand at a deeper level what's going on and you're going to recognize some common chord progression patterns that you'll find in a lot of different worship songs. You can grab a copy of this chord wheel for yourself and for your band members by clicking the link in the description of this video. And if you're interested in learning more about the essentials of music theory for worship leaders, I want to invite you to check out Worship Leader School. You're going to find all the essential advice training and support you need to plan and lead worship and having a basic grasp on some of the fundamentals of music theory is going to greatly enhance your ability to plan and lead worship. So click the link below in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends in ministry. You can check out some related videos right over here and don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.